Have you ever felt like this? Stuck on the outside with no one letting you in? Or maybe, like Madison there, you've been the person not letting someone through the door. Today we are talking about being on the outside. What's Daniel doing out there? What were you doing out there? Uh, uh, just, just, just waiting. Well, in our story today, just like I included Daniel, Jesus includes the outsider. Have you guys ever been at school and noticed a kid kind of sitting off by themselves outside of the group or, or maybe on the playground and instead of joining in everyone, they're keeping away, keeping to themselves. Like they're on the outside. What do you think Jesus would do if he saw that kid? Do you think he would just ignore it and leave the kid by himself on the outside of everyone? Do you think he would walk over and include the kid in? Or do you think he would throw mashed potatoes at the kid like Jesus would include him because Jesus includes the outsider. In fact, we're going to read a story from our Bible today about a man with leprosy. And we're going to jump in at Matthew 8, verse 1. Large crowds followed Jesus as he came down the mountainside. Suddenly, a man with leprosy approached him and knelt before him. Lord, the man said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. So let's pause there for a minute because it's important to understand what's going on right here. See, this man had leprosy, which means all over his skin, he had these big red bumps and sores and it was really uncomfortable for him. But more than that, in this time period, if you had leprosy, you were deemed unclean. You could not join in in the community. In fact, you were put on the outside of the community. You were not allowed to mingle or or make friends or talk or touch anybody from your community. You had to stay by yourself on the outside. This man has seen Jesus and is hoping for a miracle. And that's what we just read. This outsider approached Jesus and said, Lord, If you are willing, heal me and make me clean. What do you guys think Jesus is going to do? Let's find out. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing. Be healed. And instantly, the leprosy disappeared. Then Jesus said to him, Don't tell anyone about this. Instead, go to the priest and let him examine you. Now you might be thinking, Miss Courtney, why did Jesus say that at the end? Because during this time, there were certain laws that you had to follow. And when you were clean, you had to bring an offering and go to the priest for them to examine you and say that you're clean so that you can re-enter society. But guys, This man with leprosy, he hadn't been touched, hugged, loved in so many years since the day he came down with it. He was on the outside, not only of the community, but of everything the community brings. And Jesus, in a moment, saw the outsider, reached out to him, showed him love, healed him, so that he could join back in. Remember guys, Jesus includes the outsider. Now there's one more Bible story I wanna read to you guys. And this one is in Matthew 18. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, what will he do? What do you think he'll do? Well, we know what Jesus would do. 
Jesus includes the outsider, and one out of the 99 has just wandered away. Won't he leave the 99 others on the hills and go out and search for the one that is lost? And if he finds it, I tell you the truth, he will rejoice over it more than the 99 that didn't wander away. When we read that, guys, that's talking about the kingdom of heaven. That's talking about each of us. Maybe you and I have wandered away at some point in life, but know that if you're ever on the outside, Jesus sees you and he wants to include you. He will seek you out and bring you in. Jesus includes the outsider. Oh, hey guys, are y'all playing Uno? I love Uno, can I join? <laughs> you don't seem to fit in. I don't think we want you to join us. But, but I love Uno. Why can't I join? You're not cool enough to join us. We all got blue shirts. You don't even have a blue shirt. How could you even fit in with us? Oh, so, so I'm just an outsider? You just gonna treat me like an outsider? Yeah, you're gonna be looking from the outside like an outsider. Dudes, dudes, guys, hey, that's not very loving. I mean, Jesus includes the outsiders. Remember how he touched the leper? That was huge. An entire community was excluding these people for their skin disease. And Jesus didn't. Not only did he include the leper, not only did he heal the leper, but he sent them to the priest to be deemed clean, deemed clean and brought back into the community. Jesus includes the outsiders. He let love control his actions. See, I've been on the outside and it hurts when you don't get to play, when you don't get to be included. But I've also been on the inside and it doesn't feel good either because when you are excluding someone, you're going against what God asked you to do. You feel guilty, you feel shame, and you're not acting in love. Jesus includes those on the outside. He includes the outsiders. And the greatest part about including the outsiders is that when you bring them in, God's kingdom grows and it grows. And those people get an opportunity to include someone else, include someone else. We get to love like God, love like Jesus. You guys get it? Yeah, yeah I get it. I get your point. Hey, you can you join go, us. Man. Really? Thank you guys so much. Hey, dealing man. What? What? Okay. See, Jesus loves the outsiders, and I want to love like Jesus, yeah, which me means too. we get to love the outsiders too, and include them. Wow. Thank All you. Right. You can go first. Go fish. Can I join? As a matter of fact, you can. We got a shirt here for you. Thank you. Let's see how much you remember from today's story. I've got a couple questions for you. Let's start with one. It's kind of an easy one. Multiple choice. What would Jesus do with the outsider? Would he throw food at them, tell them to take a hike, include them, or leave them standing out in the rain? That was too easy. I know you know the answer. Jesus would include them. Second question, I bet you know the answer to this one too. What did the man with leprosy ask Jesus to do? Did he ask him to make him a pizza? Did he ask him to heal him? Did he ask him to take him to visit his grandma? Or three, did he ask him to sit down and have a snack? If you guessed, heal him, you're correct. Finally, easy one, you know this. To fill in the blank though, might be hard. Jesus blank the blank. Jesus blank the blank. 
I'm going to give you a second. Shout it out if you know it. But if you don't, here's the answer. Jesus includes the outsider. So today we looked at two different stories from Jesus and from his life. First of all, Jesus healed a man who had leprosy. And as we talked about, a person that had leprosy, no one wanted to be around or touch. No one would hug them. Jesus included this man. Jesus sought him out and healed him. We also saw the story that Jesus tells of the parable of the lost sheep about a shepherd who would go out of his way to find one lost sheep. That sheep was that important to him. And like the end of that story, Jesus rejoices when we are brought into his kingdom. When even one person is included and brought in to Jesus' flock, there is rejoicing. Jesus includes the outsider. God, our Father, wants us all to be part of Jesus' flock. We are all included. So this week, I have a challenge for you. I want you to take a piece of paper, draw, color, something, a blue t-shirt. And what I want you to do with this is carry it around with you. And if you see somebody that needs to be included, somebody that you want to include, use it like an invitation. Invite them to sit with you at lunch. Invite them to come over and hang out. Or maybe invite them to church. So this week, make a blue t-shirt and include someone like Jesus does. It's a lot of ways love's packed You give love, you get it back 